Well, this is your devotional for Wednesday, September 16th, and we're looking at Psalm 148. And so many of the Psalms talk about praising God, giving praise to God. Psalm 148 kind of breaks it down and digs into kind of who praises and how we praise and, and what, how extensive praise is. And so listen to the opening verses, and I'll just share a few insights about who we're praising, but also how we're praising and the extensiveness of those who are praising God with us. So listen to these words from Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his heavenly hosts. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him all you shining stars. Then you get down to verse 11 and it says, Kings of the earth, all the nations, you princes and all the rulers on the earth, young men and women, old men and children. It's just kind of listing all the people who give praise to God. And then this psalm ends like it begins, just like the psalm did last week, Psalm 147. It ends with the words, praise the Lord. I love this picture of the vastness of praise. That when we praise, we're joining in with the angels of heaven. Listen to verse two. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his mighty hosts. Do you recognize that when you sing a song of praise to God, whether it's just walking down the street, driving in your car, in a church service, sitting at home online, and worshiping with the congregation, when you're lifting up your praise, you're not alone. The angels of heaven, the heavenly host, are giving praise to God. And then in verse 3, praise him sun and moon. Now let me be honest, I don't know how that works exactly. I don't think it's like the, the children's uh, cartoon books where the sun and the moon are talking or singing. But the point is that God's creation, just its very presence, its very beauty and majesty and glory just becomes this declaration of praise to the glory and the creative wonder of our God. The heavens declare the glory of God. And so the sun and the moon praise God. And then in verse 11, I like this, kings of the earth, all the nations, princes and rulers. There's this call for every person in a place of power and authority and leadership to lift their voices and to bow their knees and to give praise to God. The king of kings that you praise has been worshiped by presidents and queens and kings and leaders. And one day, every person will bow their knees before God. In, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, everyone to declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. All creation worships God. And then I love this little bit in verse 12. Young men and women, old men and children. Young and old alike. Everybody. Let everyone, everything that has breath, give praise to God. So here's the invitation for every one of us. Whatever we're walking through, however life is going, whatever the world is kind of dealing to us and giving to us right now that we just go, I didn't want this and, and I wasn't looking for this, but here it is. Keep praising God. You are in good company as a worshiper of Jesus Christ. Keep giving him praise. Lord Jesus, that's our prayer that we will join the angels of heaven and the heavenly host, that we will join the sun and the moon and the stars in their praise, that, that we will join the young and the old rulers and authorities, simple, common people. We all have one thing in common. We can walk right into the presence of Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ and be invited in. So we praise you. We worship you. We glorify you. We adore you. And keep us doing that all day long every day, all year long. In all that we do, let us praise you, Lord. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, again, I want to give you an invitation. It's Wednesday, so there's still time to register for online services. And I'm encouraging people, and I, and I did it in the Saturday letter I sent out, and I'm encouraging you personally. If you're staying at home for worship because you have health issues and challenges, then stay at home. If you're staying home for worship because you, you have real anxiety issues going on, then, then stay home. But if you're staying at home for worship now just because it's easier, because it's more convenient, because you like to worship in your PJs, I want to challenge you to go online and register to join us on campus. There is something special going on in our courtyards, in the parking lot with the drive-in worshipers, the walk-in worshipers. It is beautiful, it's powerful, and God has made us to be together. Can I encourage you, if you're able, Register and join us on campus and we will worship the Lord together. We'll give praise to the Lord with the sun, moon, stars, with rulers and kings, 
with, with all of creation, young and old, will praise the Lord together. God bless you. Have a great week. And we'll see you online or on campus on Sunday.